guys doing today? My name is Chris Walker, uh, also known as Man in Search for Meaning, as well as Sea Walker Yoga. That's S-E-A, just like the ocean, Sea Walker. Um, super happy to be here. Um, today's flow is themed around this idea of conscious living through conscious movement. When you think about this idea of conscious living, and sometimes how unconsciously we live our life, it's because we spend so much time thinking about two distinct things, the past and the future. We can wake up in the morning thinking about what's my first meeting, what's my first this, what's my first that, I have to get ready to do this, I'm walking here, I'm meeting here, I'm in the midst of a meeting thinking about my next one, thinking about this, thinking about that, and then all of a sudden you go to bed and you repeat the whole thing over again. And How often are we actually in the moment that's right now, living right now? And often, in, especially in vinyasa yoga flows, we can be thinking about, I'm in my posture, and next posture, next posture, next posture. And we don't think about the connection between the two. So as we go through today's flow, think about connecting to your breath, allowing each breath to be a conscious breath, connecting to the ground, earth, our foundation, and then connecting our body allowing breath to be the guide, but feeling the connection we have in our body and staying strong and connected, being aware just as much about what the end posture is supposed to look like as the journey along the, from posture to posture is. So just keep it moving and know that if you get disconnected, just decide to reconnect, it's not the end of the world. So often we kind of think of yoga classes as these synchronized dance routines. So just come here, it's just you. Just make it happen. Just allow yourself to feel as connected as you can. And through your practice, maybe you'll get more connected. Maybe you get less connected, but it's all good. We're just here practicing. So we're going to head and start standing up. And as you stand up, go ahead and just spread your feet to about hip distance width apart. And look down at them. See how all 10 of those toes. And then lift all 10 of them up and see if you can press your feet firmly into the mat with all 10 toes lifted. See how wide you can spread them and then see if you can get your pinky toe just to touch and then one toe at a time and maybe they all just kerplunk down. But allow them to be as spread out as you can and just shift your weight side to side. And now close your eyes. As you close your eyes, slowly feel your quads engage so your kneecaps slightly lift. And then you, maybe you feel your butt cheeks just slightly engaged as well. You can feel your core, your abdominals. Again, not flexed, but just engaged so that you can feel the connection go from the ground as it rises up the legs. And now inhale, shrug the shoulders down. Exhale, bring them down and just release the hands by the side. See if you can be, bring each breath into the chest. And just allow yourself to stand. Can you begin to feel each inhale come in your nose? Feel each exhale come out of your nose. Become aware of how it feels. Do you notice that it's a little cooler on that air that comes in? A little warmer on the air that comes out? Can you hear that breath? On the inhale, can you hear it on the exhale? Just allow yourself to be right here and right now. As you find the sense of stillness in the body, you become more aware of little other things that stimulate your senses. Maybe you can feel a tiny trickle of sweat come down your forehead. Maybe you can feel the vibration of your heart beating. Maybe you can feel a little breeze moving the top. Slowly blink your eyes and open them up. Inhale, sweep your hands high to the sky. And then just exhale, open them as wide as you can. And now soften your knees and just bounce. Keep it bouncing. 
relax. Can you feel your shoulders kind of go up and down, along through the hands? Ah, just let it out. Forget what anything is supposed to look like. Just bounce. Maybe you shift your weight over to the right leg. Maybe you shift it over the left leg. And just start bouncing. Just let your body relax. Shake it out. Ah, just let it feel good. Hmm. And now slowly keep it moving. Slow it down. And just find some stillness here. Bring your awareness to the hips. See if you can bring your hips over to the far right. Just as long as you can. Feel this connection between the body. Inhale, bring them back to neutral. And then exhale, they go over to the left. Inhale, back to neutral. Exhale as far over to the right as you can. Now just feel that little bit of movement. Feeling the connection within the entire body. Now add a little motion into it as the hips make small circles. See if you can isolate it. Maybe you can bring your hands to your chest to see if you can keep your chest as still as you can and just isolate just the hips moving around. Feel that connection between the legs, the hips, and the lower back. Take a little pause, swing it on around the other way. Take it through a few more times. Just really beginning to feel that connection that you have with your body. Before we think about what any sort of posture is supposed to look like, just move. Slowly come back and now bring the hands to the hips. See if you can bring your awareness to the center of your chest. And feel that chest move over. Inhale it back. Exhale over to the left and back. And now feel that connection here from the abdominals and the back just going left to right. And now add a little back body. So if you turn to the side, I'm coming over to the right. And then I extend through the back body over to the left and keeping my hips as square as I can, bring the chest forward. And then once again, see if I can begin to just feel my spine move with each breath that I take. Pause it and come around the other direction just a few times. Slowly find your way back to stillness. Release the hands, shake them on out, and now let's slowly find the motion back in our hips. And now just allow that to grow and see if we can begin to incorporate the hips and the chest. Maybe they go in opposite directions. Just allow to feel your body. See if you can feel from the tips of your toes through the legs, and maybe you even bring your arms into it and sway yourself around, pause whenever you feel like it, and just allow yourself to just experience how your body is doing right now. Sometimes we forget that yoga poses were created for our body. Our bodies weren't created for yoga poses, as much as so many people on Instagram may think that their body's sole purpose is to do yoga poses. Just flow it on out. Move it around, sway, see if you can feel it in the side body. Feel as much connection as you can, as you stay loose as you can. Now take a big inhale, and on your next exhale, softly just fall down. Soften those knees. As you soften the knees, just a slight micro bend just allows you to decompress the body and roll yourself out. Now on our next inhale, we're slowly, vertebra by vertebra, Going to roll our body up. And as we come to the top, the inhale opens our chest wide. Now keep that. And as you exhale, fold forward. Lead with the chest. And you get to a certain point where your body naturally rolls down. And you release. Inhale, roll the body up. The chest and the heart. Open up, and then as you exhale, dive forward, lead with the heart. Feel that connection as you move as slow as you can, feeling that conscious connection that your breath has to your body. Let's take this through two more times. Feel that heart open, feel the bend in the back, 
dive forward, feel the chest leading you way down, and then roll out. And here's our last one. We're gonna inhale, rise up. And as we open the heart, we're gonna dive ourselves down one more time. And as we come down, release ourselves down and bring our fingertips to the mat. And just begin to maybe swivel the hips around a little bit. Allow yourself to sway. And now bring your hands to the shins. And as you inhale, slightly press into the shins and find length in the spine. Literally feels like somebody may be taking one thread or a hair, if you've got hair long like this, just slightly tugging it, allowing the back to grow as long this direction as you can. We engage the core, take one more big inhale, and then as you exhale, bring the hands down the mat, step yourself back to plank and lower into tabletop position. As we come into our tabletop here, you're gonna extend your right leg over and move the left hand over to the side. We're gonna inhale, rise ourselves up. That left hand reaches high to the sky. Feel grounded through the left knee, reach high through the left hand, and then keep that. And as you exhale, open over to the right. Feel this connection, this long line of energy as we breathe through our side body and get as long as we can. Inhale, find that length, and then exhale, soften. One more breath, and then inhale, rise up. Exhale, release the hands, come back to your tabletop position. Extend the left leg. Inhale, rise, the right hand comes high to the sky. Reach that right hand high, and then as you exhale, open up. Once again, feel the conscious pushing down of that knee into the ground. And then as you inhale, you feel length through the spine. Feel that big connection. Inhale, length and reach it in some direction. Maybe it's up, maybe it's over, maybe you're all the way over. Everyone's going to be a little bit different, but just begin to feel your body connected. On the next inhale, rise up and find your way back to that tabletop position. We're going to start off in a few cat and cows here. So as you inhale, you feel the Shoulders separate as the heart comes forward. You feel this nice little bend in the back. And then as you exhale, press your hands actively into the mat. As you press in, you round through the spine. You can feel your tailbone slightly point down toward the mat. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale, press in, round through the spine. Now continue at your own breath. I'm gonna give you a few extra cues. Start soft. As you inhale, you start off soft, and then you notice at the end of your inhale, you really try to feel that opening up, feel that deep connection. Exhale soft, and then as you press in, you feel this activation, and the activation in the abdominals, you push all the air out. Take it through two more times. Inhale, the heart opens. Exhale, press into the earth. And on the next inhale, come forward and hold it. Hold it for one more full breath. Deep inhale and then exhale, just find fluid motion. Allow any movement to happen here. Just begin to freestyle. Notice that there's a little tight spot and you hold it there and just say, let's just breathe into it. Allow that breath to expand. Maybe it's the hip, maybe it's the side body. You breathe into it. And then as you exhale, you move back around. Ah, take it through one more big breath and find your way back to that tabletop position. And from here, we're gonna start off with our right hand. And just notice what it's like if you press that hand into the mat. Actively press the fingers, well you could do it with both hands, but press it in and just feel your forearm. As you press those fingers in, your forearm gets a little tighter. Now see what it feels like if you look like you're twisting a jar off, but you keep your hands still. So you press it in and then twist it, and you'll notice more of your forearm gets lit up. Now we press into the earth and just begin to feel up the body. Can you feel your tricep activated? Maybe even your shoulder. And as you twist, can you even feel this little lap muscle right here turn on? So as we think about it, what we're doing is we're finding a deeper connection in our body. So just slowly begin to press and each press lift up and just begin to move your wrists around. So we're just beginning to loosen our wrists up through a little bit of slow Conscious movement. Maybe that conscious movement's gonna help us with our conscious living. 
Who knows? I think so. Just a little bit. Just take it nice and slow. Keep on moving them around. Try to pick them up and put them in somewhere different each time, but just feel yourself really pressing through those hands. And slowly find your way back to tabletop. Spread those fingers out. Press into the mat and round through the spine so you feel it's called protracting. You almost feel like there's a little mountain that goes over the top of your back or your heart. It's going to about to pop out between your shoulder blades. So press in, tuck your toes. On the next inhale, lift your knees one to two inches off the mat and hold it right here. Build a little fire. See if you can bring awareness to your toes. Can you feel the toe connect to your heel? Got it. Heel to knee. Knee up to my hips. Hips across my spine to my shoulders. I press into the earth. Shoulders come down to the wrists through all 10 knuckles. Big inhale. Exhale. Lower down. Whew. Roll it on out, soften them up. Now let's go ahead, replace those hands down. Keep the toes tucked. Our first inhale, we press the earth away. Feel that connection, feel that our hands are stationary, but twisting off those two little jar tops. Inhale, lift the knees. Now exhale, push back to a floating child's pose. Take a deep inhale here, and then exhale, come into our first down dog. And just soften this down, down, down. Take a few pedals. And what we're going to do is work on this slow, connected, conscious movement. So just open up a little bit here. Play around. Just loosen yourself up. This is the first down dog of the day. And now, find stillness. On our next inhale, we're going to take a five count to come into a plank. So inhale for five, four, three, two, one. One, exhale, knees come to float. We push back to downward facing dog and we inhale for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, knees down, push back up. And once again, inhale for five, four, three. Feel that connection through the whole flow. Take it through two more times. Count it in your head. Maybe those counts get longer and slower, but just keep the connection. Keep that feeling. Last one through. Roll it down. Knees push back. Find your way to downward facing dog. And from here, slowly begin to walk your feet toward your hands. See if you can make each step a conscious one. Feel the stretch that each one gives you. Maybe you come up to your fingertips. Maybe you bend your knees. Slowly make your way here. Keep those knees soft and slowly just sway it around. Inhale, release it and slowly roll the body up. Inhale, sweep your hands high to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Once again, let's inhale just for that length. Exhale, bring the hands down, step ourselves back to plank. Option to come into Chaturanga, or I'll guide us through a modified Chaturanga. So we'll exhale, bend the knees down, lower ourselves all the way down. You can feel free to come into Up Dog if you're coming into Chaturanga. From here, we're just gonna come into a nice baby cobra. Inhale here, really feel the engagement through the core and the mid back. Then exhale, tuck the toes, push back to downward facing dog. Inhale, the right foot comes high to the sky. Exhale, step it between the hands. Place that right, sorry, that left hand firmly in the mat. And now feel that this hand's a little scooper. We're scooping up, maybe it's river water, maybe it's ocean sand, whatever it is. Just think of something that we really want to keep in our hand. So we give a big scoop. And our goal is to keep that in our hand as long as we can. So as we inhale, we draw it up the side of the body. Rotate over here so you guys can see a little bit better. So as we inhale, we draw it up the side of the body. We notice that our elbow comes high. We reach the elbow high, and at a certain point, we, as slow as we can, release the sand, the water, whatever it is that you scooped up. Exhale, come back down, grab another scoop of whatever your special motion is down there. Inhale, draw it up the side, get to that point, and then slowly release it. Take that through two more times. Just allow the movement to come as slow 
and as connected as you can. Feel the power in that slow, connected movement. Focus on just what you're doing right now. Last one. Reach it high to the sky. Lower that hand down and just simply step back to your downward facing dog. Inhale, the left foot comes high to the sky. Exhale, step it between the hands. Now the right hand's flat. Our left hand's our scooper. Same goodness down there. We take our scoop of it and we inhale, we draw it by the side. Really begin to feel the elbow extend up. It allows you to stack the shoulders on top of each other and then lightly sprinkle it on out. Exhale, come down. Inhale, draw it. Feel your hand pressed against that, lengthening through. The right hand presses into the mat. The left hand reaches as high as it can. Two more times. Oh, I'm sweating out here. This Bali heat's killing me. Oh. Allow yourself to be present in your practice. Last one. Inhale, rise. Lift, open, sprinkle it on out. Exhale, bring that hand down to the mat. Step yourself back. Drop down to your knees and sink into a child's pose. Just to take a moment here, your knees can be together or they can be mat distance width apart. Your hands can be in front of you or they can be by the sides. And from here, this is a point in any yoga practice that you can always come into. Just allow yourself to be right here. Connect back to your breath. Connect back to the moment that's right now. When things feel warm, when things feel good, know that so often when feelings come in that we don't like, we judge them as positive or negative. But just know our body just naturally sends us signals. There's nothing to be afraid of, scared of, or upset about. Just allow them to happen and embrace them, knowing that we're going to be all right. A little warmth never hurt anybody. Let's take one more breath and then slowly find our way back to downward facing dog. From here, inhale the right foot high to the sky. See if you can flex that foot, point the toes straight down and see if you can feel your hips square. Now come up to the tiptoes of your left foot. See if you can lift the right leg a little bit higher. Take a big inhale, exhale, the knee comes as high up on the tricep as you can as you shift the weight forward. Hold it here. Next breath, see if you can get a little bit higher. Take a big full breath, inhale it high to the sky, then exhale, the knee comes to the nose. See if you can actually touch the nose. Maybe it's like family at the holidays, just give it a little kiss. This once a year is okay. Now take a big full breath, inhale it high, exhale, softly step it between the hands. Now from here, we're gonna plant that left hand firmly into the mat. Our right hand punches into the mat. And very similarly, now we're gonna envision that we're, we'll have a bow and arrow. And as we inhale, we draw the bow by the side. Before we do anything else, we feel, can we lift that elbow up a little bit higher, lengthening? And then as our next inhale, we come up to our fingertips. And then we slowly rise and do an archer's lunge as it pulls back. Take a big inhale to pull, and then exhale, extend that right arm and maybe you can even bring your gaze back. Become aware of your fingertips and see if you can lengthen them in opposite directions. Now think, right hand, that's this one. Your right hand's gonna sweep low as we transition into reverse warrior. So take a big inhale, soft exhale, and then inhale, sweep the right hand low, left hand high, ground yourself to the back foot and open up into your reverse warrior. Sink into that right knee just a little bit. Feel length through the side body and reach to the back of the room. Hold it here. Take one more deep breath. And on that next inhale, slowly begin to rise. Spiral the left hand down to the mat. Right hand rises up. Once again, we come up to our fingertips in Inhale yourself up, exhale, settle. Once again, inhale, spiral, find your reverse warrior. And then exhale, find your way into warrior two and hold it here. Feel this external rotation. Your thighs are opening up. 
Now everyone may be a little bit different, but you know, we want to try to get our knee stacked on top of our ankle. And we want to have the feeling of this knee going out. Hold it here. Inhale, straighten that leg, come into our dancing warrior. Gaze up, exhale, release down. This time, flip your palms up to the ceiling. Feel this connection. Can you feel this little, little tricep muscle turn on? Feel it connect into your lap on both arms. Gaze to the front fingers. Keep it strong. Keep it engaged. Keep it connected. Flip them back down. Hold in here. Remember that warmth that we're not judging? That's the warmth in your right quad right now. Just let it happen. No right quad has ever fallen off during Warrior Two yet. Inhale, flip the palm and reverse the warrior. And as you exhale, sweep it all the way around so the right forearm comes to your right quad. Open up into extended side angle. Feel yourself grounded through the outside edge of that left foot and then long through the fingertips. This long line of energy, feel as connected as you can. Now engage your core. As the core's engaged, maybe you stay right here or maybe this gets light. Ooh, light enough to extend to the front of the room. Now like you have a beach ball between your hands, squeezing it together, spiral the heart open, hold it. We feel like we might snap in half. Pretty sure we're not, think we may. Hold it for one more full breath. Inhale back to warrior two. Exhale, frame that front foot. Step yourself back, lower through your vinyasa. Feel free to bring the knees down, lower, lower down in the chaturanga. Inhale, untuck the toes. Lift through the heart, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice work, everybody. And the beauty of yoga is that we do it on one side. We get to do it on the other side, right? All right. Let's inhale, lift that left leg high to the sky. Hold it. Point those toes down, flex that foot. Feel those hips square. Tiptoes, lift a little bit higher. Big inhale. Exhale, bring the knee as high up on the tricep as you can. Maybe it's here, maybe it's here, maybe it's here. Wherever it is, just feel a little bit higher. Next inhale, high to the sky. Exhale, knee comes to nose. Maybe give it a kiss. Hold it, maybe the forehead says, wipe my sweat off. Inhale it high. Exhale, step it between the hands. Now our right hand is flat. Our left hand punches in. Inhale, draw that bow up. Feel that elbow come up. The next inhale, we come to the fingertips. And then ultimately, rise into our archer's lunge. Feel the bow draw back. Exhale, extend it. Maybe even gaze back at that left hand. Feel your feet drawing together. Find that strength and stability. Now, our left hand is this one. Take a full breath. And then as you inhale, sweep the left hand low. Right hand high. And reverse your warrior. Reaching up and over. Once again, it could be like this. It could be like this. See how much you can bend the front knee and how much you can lengthen through the side body. Breathing right through this, these little guys, these little side ribs. Take a big inhale. Exhale, spiral forward. Right hand comes down to the mat. Gaze up. And on our inhale, rise to our twisted lunge. Exhale, release. Inhale, sweep that left hand underneath. Right hand comes over. Reverse the warrior one more time. And then exhale, come back to our warrior two. And we hold it. Once again, we feel this thigh opening up. Feel the knee bending. Feel ourselves open up, reaching those fingertips as far away from each other as can. At the same time, relax the shoulders. We're up here. Relax. Inhale to our dancing warrior. Exhale, release. Now flip the palms. Feel that connection. Feel your back turn on. Palms face the ceiling. Feel the connection between the tricep, the back. Get nice and connected. Put them back down. Keep that connection. Strength of the warrior. Hold it. Hmm. Is that a little fire back? Feels like it. We officially worried about our quad. Thinking, I thought yoga was just stretching. Hold in there. Take one more full breath. Flip that palm, reverse the warrior on the inhale, and then exhale, circle it to the back of the room. 
left forearm comes to left quad, open yourself up and now find that long line. Can you feel your feet grounded? Can you feel that outside edge of your right foot firmly grounded into the mat? And then draw a line there and connect it all the way to the tips of your fingers, long as you can. Now maybe you can engage that core one more time. I think it's light, what do I do with it? Extend it long as well, squeeze that beach ball, spiral the chest open. And now say, don't break in half, stay connected, inhale up. And then exhale, frame that front foot, step yourself back to plank and lower through your vinyasa. Exhale, lower down, inhale, find your back bend, whichever one you're at for your practice. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a big inhale, and then just slowly find your way to child's pose one more time. As we come into child's pose, feel free to take as long as you want here. You can even push pause, or you can come right back to downward facing dog. Hmm. And now that we've gone through this flow once, and we know the postures, we're gonna work on connecting movement to breath. So if you notice, each one has a transition into the next one. So instead of us focusing fully on, what does my warrior two need to look like? Think about that motion. See if you can feel connected through the transitions just as much as you do when you're, I'm here, I know what this looks like. Forget what it looks like and see if you can feel it. Feel the connection that your body has through the entire flow. Find our way back to our downward facing dog. Inhale, the right foot comes high. Exhale, knee high on that right tricep. Inhale, high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, it lifts. Exhale, it steps between the hands. Punch that right hand in. One inhale, draw it all the way up to rise to our archer's lunge. Exhale, extend the right hand. Inhale, sweep the right hand low. Left hand comes high. Reverse the warrior. Exhale, spiral forward. Left hand comes down, right hand up. And then we inhale ourselves up. Exhale, settle. Inhale, sweep that hand low. Left hand high, reverse the warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Relax on the inhale. Inhale, dancing warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse the warrior. And then exhale, sweep it on forward. Extended side angle. Inhale, warrior two. And just exhale, settle. From here, we're gonna inhale, pivot on that left foot coming into your crescent lunge. Exhale, bring the arms by your side as you come into an arrowhead lunge. Now feel the connection. Can you feel your feet drawing together? Feel a little tightness in the hamstring and the quads. Long, there's a line of energy from your left heel to the crown of your head. We're gonna to begin to shift our weight forward. And then the left foot floats off the mat. See if you could square those hips. Can you feel your head going in one direction, your heel going in the other one? Get as long as you can. Inhale, slowly stand up, bring that knee into your chest and extend the arms high. This is our Karate Kid finishing move. Take a big inhale and then exhale. Yeah, slowly kick it out. Can you lift the toes a little higher? Wobble, wobble. Stand a little taller. Now from here, take a big inhale and then as you exhale, float the foot, find your way back to warrior three. Inhale, keep the legs straight, lift it up. This time see maybe if you can find a different warrior three option, maybe the hands extend forward. Lastly, inhale, rise. Now we're gonna find our way into our tree pose. So we have option one. So the toes are on the mat, the heel comes to the inner side of the ankle. We can come against the calf. We avoid the knee and we can come all the way up to the inner thigh. Now, once again, feel grounded. Feel those toes in the four corners of your feet in the mat. Bring your hands to heart center. Feel the connection that the entire lower half of, that's the trunk of your tree. It's strong. Feel that stability. And then maybe from here, inhale, your hands come high to the sky. 
Now, just like nature, we try to be as still and strong as we can, but we move. Allow your hands to be branches blowing in the wind. Let, let that wind be the analogy for, whoa, for life. Where we can find a little bit of movement. We can even lose a leaf or two, but we're okay. Now allow yourself to push past your limits. Remember that we're only about two feet from this foot coming to the ground, worst case scenario. So oh, push yourself. Push yourself as far as you can. Maybe you can even come up to a tiptoe to, I'm down, but I'm okay. Shake it on out. And then we get to do it on the other side. So let's find our way to the top of the mat. Let's inhale, sweep our hands high to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale for the length. Oh, this mat's getting sweaty. Exhale, place the palms down. Step or float yourself back, lower into Chaturanga. Wherever you're lowering down, inhale, find your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, let's do it. Inhale, lift the left foot high to the sky. Exhale, comes high on the tricep. Inhale, high, stay connected. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, it's high. Exhale, step it between the hands. Here's our arrow. Inhale, draw it all the way up to your archer's lunge. Exhale, extend. Inhale, sweep the left hand low, the right hand's high, reverse your warrior. Exhale, spiral forward. Right hand comes down to the mat, left hand lifts high. Inhale, twisted crescent lunge. Exhale, settle. Inhale, sweep the left hand. Right hand up, reverse your warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, dancing warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Exhale, sweep it on around, extended side angle. And then inhale yourself back to your warrior two. Whew, we made it. Let's finish it on home. Let's inhale, pivot on that foot. Find your way into your crescent lunge. Exhale, drop the arms by the side. Maybe you scooch that foot in just a little bit. Got a little sweaty on my side. Maybe it is on your side as well. Feel that connection between your right heel and the crown of your head. Get long and strong, strong airplane wings. The weight shifts forward and the right foot floats off the mat. Bleeding with the chest. Feel as you can get as long as you can. Crown of your head through the heel of your right foot. Hold it for two more full breaths. Get a little bit longer, a little bit stronger. Inhale, slowly rise up. Hands come up, knee comes up to the chest. And as all good karate kids, we practice on both sides. Find stability, take a big inhale. Exhale, higher. Lift the foot, stand a little taller. Take a big inhale. Exhale, slowly release the hands, airplane wings, warrior three. Inhale, rise it on up. Bring that, keep that leg straight. And now see if you can find a warrior three option or come right back to where you were. Exhale, maybe those hands reach forward, stay long and connected. And then inhale, rise and find your way to your tree pose. Once again, we'll go through the options. Option one's here. Option two, we can come to the calf. We avoid that little precious soft guy at our knee. We come up. Bring your hands to heart center. Find a drifty. Find something out in the distance that you can focus on that helps you find your balance point. And then maybe you extend the hands high to the sky. And then once again, maybe we use this tree that is our body as an analogy for nature and life find a little bit of movement. Whatever's right. Feel a wobble, embrace it. Know that wobbles are all good, like life has wobbles. You just deal with it. Now push yourself, get out of your comfort zone. Oh, I'm not falling, come up to a tiptoe. And then come down. And you're all good. Just shake it on out. So from here, let's take it through one more vinyasa. Let's inhale, sweep our hands high to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale for length. 
exhale, palms down. Step maybe you're floating these days. Lower yourself down. Inhale, find that little back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Soften the knees and step or float into a seated position. Now from here, I'm just gonna extend the legs forward. Place the hands behind you and just allow yourself to sit as tall as you can. Now this one we're staying active. Feel yourself active in the core. Feel your heart lift, shoulders strong. Keep that engagement and then reach your hands high to the sky. Take a big inhale, reaching up. And as you exhale, reach forward. Hands don't come near the feet. They just literally reach parallel to the ground. Inhale, reach a little longer and then exhale, fold down. Hands may come to the shins. Peace fingers can come to our big toes or you might come to the out or maybe some of you even have a full bind. And just allow yourself wherever you're at to use each inhale to find a little bit of length. Breathe that cool air coming in the tip of the nose. Find some length and then as you exhale, just soften a little bit more. Feel the intention of your nose going toward your toes versus your forehead rubbing against your knees. Take one more breath. On the next inhale, release it. And then slowly roll up, grabbing the backs of the knees. Reach your hands forward and around to the spine. And roll your body down, vertebra by vertebra. Take a big inhale through your nose and just sigh through the mouth. Ah, I know I heard my sigh. Did you hear your sigh? Let's, let's all hear it together. Take one more big inhale and let it out. Ah. Slowly walk your feet up so that you can feel your, your, uh, your heels with the tips of your fingers. And you're gonna notice, I'm sweaty in this big tank, but you'll notice I have this little spot below at the bottom of my spine that's off the mat. It's called our lumbar spine. It's a natural curve, so it's a good thing. But what we want you to do is engage your hips and slightly tilt them so that your back's flat. Now, feel that connection of your entire back on the mat. And as you inhale, see if you can lift just your butt off the mat. So if you think about bridge, whoosh, wipe it out of your head and take it step by step. Just feel this, feel your feet pressed into the mat, hands there and just your butts off the mat. Just this little gap. Oh, I got a little butt. Hopefully you can see that gap. And on the next inhale, our lower back lifts and our hips come up a little bit more. And then on our next inhale, our middle back rises. And on our next inhale, the upper back rises. And then we can press in and lift the hips as high as we can. And maybe we interlace our shoulders, under, our hands underneath our bum, and the shoulders come underneath and we lift through the heart. We just allow ourselves to stay. We feel the hips lift and the heart open up. See if you can feel your body opening up as you lift into this nice little back bend. Lift a little bit higher. Open a little bit more. Lift a little bit higher. Open a little bit more. Release your hands. Hold it. Take a big inhale and exhale. Roll your body out. You have the option to push pause here and take two more back bends of your choice, or we can just keep on moving. From here, Go ahead and bring your feet to the edges of your mat and just swivel your feet back and forth a little bit, softening up from that back bend. And now without using your hands, just bring your knees in for like a little hug. And then start off like we're hugging someone we don't really wanna be hugging. Ugh. And then come on in for that real good hug. And now slowly just begin to extend yourselves out as you find your way into a final Shavasana. Option to do a few little twists as well. Just whatever feels right for you as we ultimately find ourselves into Shavasana. Extend the feet forward and just see if you can start with your heels. As we find this place of stillness, can I feel my heels connected to the ground? The calves, the back of my knees, my hamstrings, my hips, the backs of my hands, the forearms, my elbows, shoulders coming up, my spine, all meeting at the crown of my head. As we lay still, we begin to once again 
become more intimately connected with those little things and just allow yourself to breathe. Allow yourself to bring a focus to your breath. Allow you to find attention with just you. Allow your thoughts to come and go as all you're thinking about is, how does my breath sound right now? How does it feel? And if we can just bring our attention to something as simple yet so critical as our breath, everything else just passes by. Allow yourself to just stay here and breathe. Now slowly find some stimulation in your fingers and your toes. Roll the wrists around the ankles and reach yourself as long as you can. As the hands reach back, the toes reach forward. Let out a yawn. A, ah, bring the knees to the chest. Roll yourself over to the right. And just take a moment to find your way back to a comfortable seated position and close your eyes. Bring the hands to heart center. And just take a moment to find a gratitude for yourself. Thank yourself for giving yourself the time for this practice. Giving yourself those little gifts is what really matters. Allowing yourself to focus on the moment that's right now. Slowly bring the hand to the third eye. Press the thumbs right between your eyebrows. As you inhale, lift the chin, open your eyes and smile. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining.